Press pause and answer the question. All right, so this is the first in our series of, of a whole bunch of questions that the exams love to give where they're changing the linear dimension and they want to see what happens to the area or they're changing the area and they want to see what happens to the linear dimension because they're not quite, they're related but not in the most intuitive way. So in this case, we have a gardener and he's going to increase the length of his garden by 20% and decrease the width of his garden by 20%. And once he's done so, we want to know how much has he changed the area of the garden. So he's kind of elongated it in one direction and shortened it in the other. And there's a couple different ways to do this. One way we can do it is just by taking numbers, right? So we can just say, okay, let's just say that our garden is 10 by 10. That makes a nice simple 100. So the area is length times width. So the area is 100 square units. And if we're going to change it, we're going to increase the length by 20%. So 20% longer than 10 is 12. 1.2 times 10 is 12. And we're going to shrink it by 20% in the other dimension. So that's going to be 12 times 8. And 12 times 8 is 96. So we went from 100 to 96. So our answer is a decrease of 4%. That's our answer. If you want to do it in a more kind of general way, we can do it like this. We can say that the area is equal to the length times the width. And now we're increasing the length. So our new area, our area 2, is length times 1.2 because it's 1.2 times the length. And our width is our width times 0.8. So we have 1.2L times 0.8W. And then we get an area, if we multiply this out, 1.2 times 0.8, we get an area of 0.96 LW. And since LW is just the original area, our new area, our, our area 2, is 0.96 times our old area. So we again, we have a decrease in size by 4%.